So it finally happened. He played Lethal Company for 14 hours straight, had no disconnects, had good RNG, and we hit 11K quota. But if you've been following the videos up until now, it has not been an easy journey. But I feel like everything happens for a reason because everything we've been through in the previous videos have prepared us for this journey I'm about to show you today. And please don't forget to show some love to the crew. Without them, none of this will be possible. And that once again is Albi Around, Big Black Tic Tac, and Cynic. You guys have absolutely been crushing every single goal that I set. So once we hit 20k, I got something really, really special planned and I think you guys will like it. But until then, let's get into the video. So it all started with the beginning of this first run we had and it was looking good. Everything was fine. We were finding so much loot and on our way to bring it back, that's when everything went wrong. bro everything was right there too so we decided to eject and start all over and this is when the real run started now usually when we start these runs the first three free planets that we go to we usually try to get somewhere between 1500 to 1700 to start a high quota run so we landed assurance march and assurance again and we really got blessed with the loot that we got the first round of assurance, we got 737. The second on March, we got 614. And the third assurance, we got 419. So once we traded at the company building, we are ready to start on rend. Now for most of this run, everything was pretty much gonna be the same as our last runs. There was only gonna be a few changes that we made. Now one of those changes was gonna be just getting loot in and out as fast as possible from both doors, from main and fire exit, just to secure a bunch of loot early on before we go back in and try to get more. The second thing was we were gonna incorporate walkie talkies so we could let each other know for jesters, nutcrackers, and all sorts of different things. It's weird because the walkie talkies actually act as a light. So when it's like eclipse or stormy and it's really, really dark coming back from fire exit, you could kind of use the walkie talkie to guide yourself. And the very last thing we were just gonna watch out for was to not get below 600 scrap on any day on any moon. We wanted to keep at least 600 above so we could stay on pace to try to hit 12K. And one of these days on Ren, we actually hit our personal best for how much scrap we ever brought back to the ship on one day. 22, 22. Bulletproof, mim bro, that mimic just didn't want to fucking die. Oh, All right. present. It's a robot right here, too. Tony, oh, never mind. Okay, I found some juice here. Okay, yeah, my, my size is dead. Oh my god, we found a lot. Yeah, wow. you fly back, I'll get the two hand it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna briefly poke in. You let me know if you see anything. Uh, I got you. You got juice. Can somebody come here while I hold the, uh, while I hold the, uh, whatever the fuck this is? Cynic TT, do you have, uh, walkies? Yeah, I have a walkie. Uh, Q. Go fire exit, go fire exit. Yeah, go fire exit. Nutcracker right to your left, right? Right behind that bookshelf. Good shit. He's, he's that way to your left, that way to your left. Okay, I'm gonna drop walking. Cynic has one. Nice, well done. There's another one right in the kitchen, right in the kitchen. Middle of the kitchen right now. But there's also a red dot creeping up. Good shit. Now get out of there. Ah, oh, he's on his way back. Okay. He's right there. Uh, did you pick up the other oh, jetpack TT or no? Me. No, no, no. I, I got three guns on me. Okay. God damn. Oh, that's nice. Mm, God, yeah, that's that's good 17 one. is gonna hit crazy. That no. is actually insane. Yeah, that's good. 
Now with that 1700 day plus a bunch of 1400s, 1200s, and 1300s, we were probably on the best pace we've ever been on to hit 12k. And as you can see by the chart, we are still staying true to not getting below 600 scrap for any day on any of the moons. That was until we decided to go Don. And here's the reason. Some days Don is open and Ren is eclipsed and we choose to go Ren and we usually end up having like a one really bad day that's like 300, 400 and sometimes it kills the run. So we talked at the beginning and we said if Ren was eclipsed and Don was open or flooded, we would go Don and just, and just try to get as much scrap as we could. And that ended up backfiring so bad because when Don Don gets crazy. Don gets crazy. Everybody have a All right, what the fuck? Walkies, isn't right? it? Isn't it over here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we all have walkies, right? You look at who has the world record and stuff, and they didn't risk it. Okay. I can't. I don't think I got him. 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 And that was just the first day on Don. Because the second day on Don, it was even worse. Two of us died so early that we ended up getting the lowest amount of scrap on the whole run. Watch out, watch out for the. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. All right, he said he didn't miss, but he's not killing him. DT is dead as fuck. DT is dead as fuck. Yeah, go, go, please go. What the fuck? He's still aggroed in there. Now, luckily for us, Cynic was able to go in, finesse, and get the little bit of loot that we already had, but it still wasn't enough to save the day. We ended up getting 442 this day, and it, and it put a dent on our whole momentum. So we made the decision that we were not going to Don again, no matter what Ren was looking like. So for the rest of the run, we went Ren, and we were having some pretty good days and some pretty bad days. We had a 1400 day, followed by a 465, followed by a 1424, which averaged out to be not that bad of a quota. But as reality set in and we realized we were getting to the last and final quota that we were going to be able to meet, we had to lock in. So at this point on the ship, we have about 8,000 scrap. So it's so important that every day we go down to Ren, we bring back at least a thousand, if not over that, to guarantee that we get into the 11K to 12K quota range. So the first day went a lot better as expected, and we managed to get 1,400 despite losing TT very early on. So the second day wasn't as good with all the locked doors and it being eclipsed with three dogs out. We still locked in and even got over a thousand scrap. So at this point, our ship has 9,000. So at this point, our ship has about 9,000 scrap and all we need is one more decent over a thousand day and we should be good to go to hit 11K quota. Now this had to be one of the longest days and one of the most stressful because we all know one or two bad mistakes and it's all over. This entire 14 hour run is for nothing. And of course, if you wanna watch the whole thing, it is available. I will put the link in the description below, but we locked in. And by locked in, I mean we got 1,098 scrap, which means we have over 10,000 on the ship, which means we should make the 9,000 quota. And a little bit over that, which means we should get put into maybe the 12K quota range. But the time had finally ran out and there was nothing else to do but trade the scrap and find out if our journey was worth it. So after about 20 minutes of just trading everything we had on the ship, the moment had finally came. Items worth the ship and oh items. my God, barely. All right, we're chilling. Right. Oh my God. Go.
god. God so damn. Cool. 11k. We, were we just so have close. yeah. That's yeah, not bad. Again. That's wait, not wait, bad we all, though. We were probably off by like 300, right? Now, as you know, if we hit 12k, that would have been a world record. So I believe we're second place right now, or even third place. But that doesn't mean we're going to stop, but it is going to slow down a little bit because Cynic has school, which means he's not able to play Lethal Company as much. But we will still be attempting the high quota runs probably on the weekends. But now we are going to be dipping into a bunch of modded content like the VR mod that we're going to be doing later today. But honestly, 11K is still an insane accomplishment. And thank you guys for being on this journey with me. If you've seen the first video where we hit like a 6,000 quota till now, it has been a long time journey but a great one at that so thank you to everybody who supported us make sure you check out the crew and show them some love because once again without them none of this is possible and if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a sub but until next video when i see you again have a good night